When working with multiple audio channels in DaVinci Resolve, you may find yourself wanting to reduce one track's volume while allowing another track to be heard better. Sure, you could go through with keyframes and manually animate this, but you can also use a side chain in the dynamics window of the mixer. When you want to automatically attenuate the audio level of a certain track based on a different track, uh, that's called a side chain. To use side chain compression to automatically duck music in the presence of dialogue on other tracks, first edit dialogue into one track on the timeline and then set music in another track on the timeline. Second, click on the track header or channel strip of a track with dialogue to select that track and then double click the dynamics indicator on the channel strip in the mixer to open the dynamics window. Next, turn on the send button to automatically send all levels from that track to the side chain of a compressor on another track. It's not necessary to turn on a compressor for this track. If you have multiple tracks with dialogue, you can repeat steps two and three for each so that the output levels of all dialogue are sent to the side chain. Next, click the track header or channel strip of a track with music to select that track. If you haven't closed the dynamics window, the header will show you that the dynamics controls are now those of a newly selected selected track. Finally, turn on the compressor and then turn on the listen button to automatically feed all sent levels to the side chain of the compressor on this track. At this point, you need to lower the threshold and raise the ratio controls to the appropriate levels so that as dialogue is heard, the music is compressed. You also may want to raise hold so that the gain reduction doesn't fluctuate too wildly and raise release so the volume adjustment doesn't end too abruptly. If you set this up correctly, then during playback, the side chain meter should show the levels of the dialogue track with send enabled and the gain reduction meter should show how much of the gain the music is being reduced when triggered by the dialogue being fed to the side chain. As a result, you should hear that whenever speech is heard, the music volume is automatically attenuated. Adjust the threshold and ratio to set the amount of gain reduction and adjust attack, hold, and release to set how quickly gain reduction responds to changes in the side chain level as defined by the send levels. I'll often use a quicker attack and slower release to give it a smoother transition between compressed background audio and uncompressed. If the attack is too harsh, you can duplicate the speech track and move it forward on the timeline by a few hundred milliseconds. Then use that track to trigger the side chain. This gives you the ability to use a slower attack and gives the ducking a more smooth sound. As a side note, side chaining can be highly useful when editing dialogue. By setting the tracks to duck on opposite speakers audio, you can quickly quickly and efficiently remove crosstalk. If you found this helpful, check out this playlist of other videos on DaVinci Resolve 18 and consider subscribing.